Hey gang, it's Dr. J on Dr. J Tries. Thanks for checking in. Today we're going to be trying out a new game that my mystery man has uh, picked out. He's real enthusiastic about it. I am too because he tells me that it deals with grief. And as a psychologist, that's something that I've spent 30 years um, helping people with because it's a very real part of life. But um, let's see what this neat game does. And the name of it is Gris. Uh, Gris. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's made by a Spanish company, so technically um, the pronunciation is Gris. This oh. is like uh, Spanish for gray. Oh, wow. Okie doke. Right so on. don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We're going to have fun. But this might be very meaningful. So join us with Dr. J tries right now. And evidently I'm going to be using a controller. I don't hold it up. So it's not going. Oh, okay. Holding it lower. Okay. Now right now. Okay. My eyeball's on. Okay. Uh, yes, I did get it, literally. Like she doesn't have the ends and she doesn't have the studio. But does it give you any instructions from here? She's blue, that's a good cover. So go ahead and um, move the joystick. Okay. Is that this one? It's kind of a platform, so it's a lot less complicated than like right and stuff. I don't know what a platformer is. Uh, Do I need to know? It's two dimensional, so you can go left and right, up and down. Oh, that I can do. He's going in the mist. That's what grief feels like, also. Not like rubble. Really wish yeah, I'm just waiting on her to do something. Going up here, 
that's usually good. Not a lot of sand alone. Like it's to let you know that you hit the ground. Did you like my grammar there? Wait. No, what'd you do that for? This is called practice. All of this is called practice. The 
you said. Well, in ways that this, you know, kind of strikes me as an arcade game, but it's a whole different, whole different mood for me. Because it seems to have emotional meat. The chicken didn't have emotional meat, you know, they not want to hurt it. Yeah, now I'm, uh, you keep using arcade game, which yeah. I, on one hand, I think it, um, you know, kind of helps prove that you've not gamed your life. Well, when I think of an arcade game, I'm talking about, like, um, you know, um, yeah, mom, 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 oh, mom, Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm, I can't quite remember what the term for that one is. You know, it may, it may well be your kid. Who was it over there? Look at that. What is that? Looks like a giant um, thing right there. Right next to it. Like, instead of having to move, you know. Huh? Just kind of look at a glass right. Okay. Just jump straight up when you're right there. No, I. You're right on the spot. You keep moving when I say just jump where you are. I know, but you're not supposed to be coaching me this much. I did. You were good. Well, that's for sure, but you're not supposed to be. Oh, well, this is a whole different tone. Got some questions? Yeah, uh, what do you mean by whole different tone? Um, well, you know, it's interesting. As a psychologist, I know that we're very affected by colors and stylizing. And we were in kind of a monochrome world. And it started off with enough clues. Of course, there was color at the beginning, blue and red. Um, but you saw someone in what what certainly looked like distress, and um, but then she was able to you know get up and move, and that's the thing to do. So I don't know. I'm having a hard time being Dr. J. Tries when Dr. J. Psychologist is through. Well, that's why there's Dr. J. You know. Yeah. Would you but I find but I find the music um, very um, appealing, and um, the game very forgiving. And the, the timing, like, well, I don't know whether it was the game or the you, but that, that we're saying, you know, you it's okay, you get time. You, this is not rush, this is not time. Yeah. And that's such a radical experience in life. Even if we only get it in our gaming moments, it's worth getting. That feeling that there's going to be enough time and that feeling that we're going to get a handle on it. And that feeling that resources are going to come our way. Uh, I like those messages a whole lot. Yeah, so, got some heart stuff this time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you be interested in uh, 
continuing. Yeah, I would definitely continue it. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know anything about gaming that's become completely evident. Uh, not the, you know, technology of it, not the spectrum of it. But but this certainly does teach me that um, the spectrum is broad. Really broad, you know. So I sort of feel like you, you know, prop me up on your shoulders and let me look through a window. And I don't really know what to make of what I see inside, but... I know that it's a whole new world. So um, for whatever people um, enjoy, and I hope they enjoy this one. And if not this one, I hope that, that you have fun with other gaming because the whole point of Dr. J tries um, is to say that if something's important to somebody you love, it should be important to you. And gaming is special to some of the people that I love. And so I wanted to get a taste of what they like. And, and evidently gaming is broad enough to have something for everybody. And even everybody had a different phase in life. So. Um, I do thank you for joining us at Dr. J Tries. Do be sure to um, like and share and subscribe and pass it on. And um, know that we've got a bunch more. And we look forward to you coming back. Right? Right. Okie doke. So I will sign off and uh, take care of you. You know, Dr. J Tries. <laughs>